Welcome back to Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3. Uh, we're back here on this ship, and, uh, yeah, we're not in very good condition from all those zombies and ghouls we've been fighting. Luxie has only two fights, and we're almost dead. So, yeah, this place is pretty tricky. Alright, so let's head on up here. We haven't actually found out where we are right now. Exactly. Uh, from earlier conversations in this game, you can sort of guess where you are. Ah, uh, I missed a treasure. No. Then enemies will just attack me! That's no good. So up here, you need to read this letter there. It says, Book of Blood, Book of Death, Curses Death. So remember that order. And now let's head back downstairs. Ow. Damn slimes. Ugh, man, these guys are taking no damage at all. There's a reason for that, and it's kind of a crap move the game pulls on you. Alright, these guys have a little bit less defense, I guess. Alright, let's just go in here. Screw everything else. That's the way we need to go. Ugh, more zombies. Wow, that hurt. 48 damage? Jeez. There we go. Finish him, Kevin. Great job. Great, more ghouls. Okay, and Angela's almost dead. That's good. Just what I needed. That's why I said to bring a lot of candies and chocolates here. Yeah, you're gonna need them. <laughs> if you have Carly in your party, all the better. Alright, and here are the books. So it's Blood, Death, Curses, Death, so... Blood, Death, Curses, Death. So let's read the book here. And I'm controlling Hawk now, because that's who I want to read the book. You'll see why in a minute. Good evening. It's time to go to bed. Okay, go talk to that guy now. Oh, it's Mataro from Bizel. going on? Hawk, it's not the time to be doing push-ups now. <laughs> Looks like, uh, Hawk caught the curse now. I don't know if it's showing, but I think Hawk is supposed to be flickering. Like that he's a ghost. And I think he just disappeared. Alright, so now we're down to two. Angela and Kevin. Now if you want to switch whoever's, whoever you're not controlling, I think you just go talk to him again with the person that you want to leave behind, but you do have to leave someone behind, and in this case, Hawk is the most useless character that I have right now, unfortunately. He's also going to be missing out on quite a bit of experience, which that's too bad, but what are you going to do? Try some holy ball on these guys. I don't want to waste too much MP right now. Even though I have fairy walnuts. I'm just really protective of them. I don't want to use them. Oh, 98, not bad. Yeah, I'm guessing that uh, 
spirit is the main stat that determines the damage of Holy Ball. Or all of Jin's spell, or not Jin, Wisp's spells, I think. Just taking a ton of damage here. Ugh, this is not going well. Like I said, it you know it's gonna get worse, but oh crap. Uh die please. Yeah, it's gonna get worse right now, but it will get better in a few minutes. There we go. Yeah, so this is the ghost ship. This is one of the hardest parts of the game, really. Until we can get to a certain couple of rooms here. And you'll see why. You will see why. Ugh. Stop it. Stop hurting so much. I just healed up with chocolates and already Kevin's lost like 70 HP. It's ridiculous. Alright, so we need to go back to the store here, right in front of the Blood Death Curses Death. I don't know I don't know if you actually have to read that note before you go to that room with the books, but it's a good idea too. It looks like it's nighttime outside, but I don't know. I guess it's daytime for whatever reason. Yay, level up. Yes, defense. We need defense. Actually, I think this is where it starts to get a little bit easier. These two rooms here will help out a lot. We just have to take care of the enemies first. Simple task, really. Come on, die, zombie. Yay, Angela levels up. And... Let's go strength, whatever. Actually, maybe I should have leveled up spirit. Oops. Oh well. Welcome. Bye. Yes, better weapons. Once you defeat all the enemies in this room, you get a, a zombie that shows up and he has a weapon store. Let's equip those right now. Oh yeah. Pewter Rod. And let's go to the next room and in there I'll give you two guesses what's in there. Yeah, let's go. See, this is already making a huge difference. Ow! Don't do that! What? Why do you want to make me small? I'm happy being a big dog boy guy. And Angela's almost dead. Angela, why don't you have some candy? Because you're so sweet. There we go. Alright, another... Oh, it's a ghost. Comes in, and we have a... An armor shop. Like, it'd be nice if this was earlier in the place, but... I don't know. This makes this place a lot easier having the armor and weapon upgrades, I tell you. Alright, there we go. We are fully equipped, and unfortunately Hawk's not, not going to get this weapon and armor upgrade, but it's really okay, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. He doesn't need it, because he's not in our party right now, and we will have access to a weapon shop really, really soon. Wow, this is my last round drop. 
Oh boy. Like I said, bring a lot of round drops and chocolate to this place. It's very, very nasty. Now that we have the weapon and armor upgrades, it should be... Yeah. They're doing less than half of what they were doing before, so it should be a piece of cake. And I think that that was the last room right there. Yeah, we got the weapon and armor upgrades one room before the boss. I mean, that's not fair. <laughs> this guy's a ghost, so he should be weak to light. And Angela should be pretty useful in this. Oh good, he silenced Kevin. Kevin doesn't have any spells. Anyway, Angela should be very, very useful in this fight, because we're magic. So I'm just gonna keep using... This boss isn't a pushover. He can be pretty tough. He does things like disappear and appear up there where you can't hit him except with magic, so... Another reason Angela is useful in this fight. Though I think if I increased her spirit, her holy ball would be doing a little bit more damage. Oh well. So while he's up there, there's really nothing else you can do but use Holy Ball. So just let loose. If you don't have Angela in your party, just, uh, I don't know, wait it out until it comes down. Because he will come down eventually. I'm probably slowing down that process by using all these spells. But I have little other recourse. Shove a holy ball up your ass. Ghost Road, this is... I think it's kinda nasty. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Yeah, let's do this. Let's shorten the charge time for Angela's spell. Bam! Suck on that, Gorba. And let's do it again, because Angela can use some candy. See, Angela is not the best fighter. He's only doing one damage. Ooh, evil gate. I think that's the next spell we learn for Angela when she levels up. Black Ring. too much about it. <laughs> Wasn't it that movie where those two American cops or the one American cop guy is like investigating the Yakuza in Osaka or something like that? Is that a different movie? That doesn't matter, we're fighting Gorba. Nothing else can matter. Angela, I know you're on a diet, but eat the damn candy. Ghost Road again. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's get some.
some healing done. Oh crap, I'm out of MP. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna bother using a fairy wall now. These guys should almost be dead. It's too bad it's not nighttime, because he would be dead by now if Kevin was in his Oh, that one damage wasn't gonna be bad. I thought Angie would hit him. Do one damage and he'd be dead. No, but he's dead now. Took long enough. Yay! Yay, Ruben! And next time on Let's Play Sega Nintendo 3. Shade.